Good morning, my lovely people, my lovely spirits and souls, <laughs> aliens, vampires, and everything out there. Young, old, male, female. Happy Monday, happy upcoming week ahead, because as we know by now, we're going to look into what's happening in the upcoming week. What I feel for us is that this week will probably be one of the most important weeks of our next two years ahead, where there's a lot of patterns that's being realized. What is that actually? There's something black floating. I tried to catch it, but I couldn't. I don't know what that was. But it actually fits very well into what I'm about to say. Because I had this like vision of peeling off the... What do you call that? The bandage or the... the yeah, I can't find the word for it now. Something about aid. Bandage aid? No. Anyway. You're taking it off and you're realizing that this, the wound is healed. And that is something that's being activated in your life. It might not happen this week, but it's definitely something that you are going to feel throughout February. Or realize throughout February. Depending on where you are on your journey, depending on how you feel at the moment you might realize it today you might have realized it in the weekend or you will throughout this week there is a lot of freedom coming from that it is something that has been coming for a long time it could be connected with family with relationships with work with worthiness how you see yourself could have something to do with addictions, anxiety, depression, your body, whatever it is. But again, you're taking off the bandage. I'm going to call it that. And you're realizing that whatever it is, is actually healed. So that means you don't need to fiddle around with it. And it does open up new doors for you. And it will happen from today. With that, I also want to point something out to you make you remember to pay attention to your thoughts because what you focus on what you think on a daily is what you manifest and here comes in the energy of being playful when it comes to manifestation to make up stories how you want your life to be already now really mix it in with what it is that you want to manifest or who you want to become or who you want to attract. Yeah. And for today, for the upcoming week, I do want to take this. Yeah. It just looked so green because the background is green. I was like, is this the wrong deck? But it's not. The last times we did use this, fit well with the green. Now that the focus is on green, um, there is probably a lot of focus on your heart chakra that's being opened. I just saw this as the first card, so plenty of opportunities, plenty of money and prosperity will float in this this week ahead. But I also with that feel like you need to realize that nothing is standing in your way. Like you're not fearful of whatever you have been fearful of. Um, and <laughs> you will have moments where you're like, wow, that was so silly of me to be so fearful of this. So again, taking off the bandage and you're realizing that it's completely healed. It, w it would probably have been a very nasty wound, like a wound where you're like, this is never going to heal because it's so deep, it's so disgusting, it keeps oozing out with past hurt. And now it's just gone. It's like, wow. 
And with that, also, you need to pay attention to that you are also shifting what you allow into your life and who you want in your life. So do not be surprised if you actually decide to let someone go or you find it easy to let someone go. Mm. Saying that while the coffin arrives. And do not be afraid or worried. There was a lot of cards, but that was the only card that turned around. Do not be afraid or worried about the coffin. Because it's just the ending of old chapters. It's, again, it's last needle in the coffin, right? Once you do that, you are not able to open it again. And it also has a very sacred energy around it like some of you guys might even have done like some kind of ritual or burning papers or again burning bay leaves or cinnamon sticks or <laughs> sage white sage or uh, palo santo to be like okay now everything is you know out of my life yeah whoa and then uh we have the tree of life, I believe, but also um, what Spirit just made me focus in on was the lot of karma um, and Pluto. So something is most definitely, I just saw a white dog fly over the house. Something is most definitely being like, again, closed down. It could be like the old you, the old, the, the your old identity. Your old identity is being let go of. <laughs> yeah. Like Spirit showed me. This is very Viking like. Putting the like the old ashes. Also symbolic with the scar, right? Like if we have a <laughs> ouchie. <laughs> When we have a scarf, is that what you call that? Like, um, if you have had a, a wound and it like, you know, it dries up and you have this like old skin, like you throw it away. And in this symbol of what Spirit showed me, it's like taking your old ashes, the old dry skin, the old mentality, the old uh, stories that you told yourself, like you take all that and you compact it into like a bag or a box or something like that and you put it on a ship and you put fire to the ship like the Vikings do right when they bury something and you let that ship with your old ashes with your old identity and old stories and old you know again the old stories of old people past people and past hurt is all in that boat and you're just letting it go and the fact that you put fire to it <laughs> does mean that there is no going back. You are shipping it off. Good job. Good job. And also the past days, I have had problems with my ankles again. Uh, my ankles. <laughs> my ankle. <laughs> oh, God. And so I had to relax, right? And walk around with the moon boots. Boot. Is that what you call that? I think that is what you call that, right? To, so I was a good patient, even if I yesterday, you know, walked around and do, did a lot of things. Today, it's healed. It's gone. So I do feel this past weekend might have really been a weekend where old chapters, knowingly or unknowingly, has been closed down. Like, you might not even have realized it, but now that you sit here and you think about it, you're like, yeah, something has actually sh shifted. And maybe you didn't even, you know, realize it. I'm going to take the book for the tree. Yeah, there's three birds in it also. There's a rainbow and we have like the chakras. So, wow. I am here to stay and grow. I am the wealth. I am the wealth. I am the health of your body, mind and soul. Look for the cards next to me to find out more about me. When negative cards are closed, pack some tissues for your nose. 
I need to take one for the future. But now that the coffin is in the past, it might have been, again, take some tissues to your nose. Maybe you did say goodbye to something that was very emotional. Right? But now we are taking a card for the future. That was a jumper. Compass. So there you go. And now I'm going to read more to see what we have. A sign of health and longevity. You're putting down your roots and you are ensuring security for your future. Again, with the compass, it shows, you know, a new path, a new way. We do have south and we have north. Is that what you call that? It sounds wrong to say north, but I guess that's what you say. Getting over a health condition that could be, again, also like we spoke about with uh, depression or anxiety. Chronic illness, I heard. It's the tree of life. You are in alignment with your higher purpose. Mm. Well, we do like that. I do want to say, because I just paid attention to... Uh, this, I can't remember what you call it, but the card normally comes up when there's something that we need to look closer at that, that is toxic, that we need to let go of. Could be why I mentioned the thing with the thoughts, right? Pay attention to your thoughts, because if you have a repetitive thought of being sick or um, bad things always happen to me, pay attention to if you say that to yourself, like, oh man, this always happens to me. Always, even if you say it in a silly th silly way. We have spoken about that the universe doesn't know the difference between you, you know, being playful w with words or if you really mean it. You know, if you say it to yourself in a funny way, like, oh yeah, I always attract bad things. Ha ha ha. The universe is like, huh, okay, bad things it is. You always attract. So again, turn around, be like, I'm always lucky. Always. Things are always turning out well for me. So that this doesn't get too long, I'm just going to take one card here. And actually, we do have one here. But let me also just pull one. Do you want to... Hello? <laughs> Maybe it is a sign that you need to put your focus on, you know, the here and now. Put your focus on where the universe wants you to put the focus on. I just had like a... Oof. Like a dizzy. Like almost like being... Yeah. So maybe you're a little bit confused or overwhelmed about something. Ah, oh, yeah. Definitely for some of you guys, there is this energy of being trapped in paranoia. Of being... You know, this is also the card of scarcity. Like... Being in scarcity and then spirit and the universe like, but that's never going to happen. Why do you even think about that? It's not going to happen. So your mind is being refocused really on something. It's like you're being taken back home and that means back to you. So you can see where you're actually going because temperance is a card of guidance. Spirit guiding you. And with the other cards, I mean, hello. Yeah. Don't be too hard on yourself. Also with the the uh, the card that I showed. Like when they do something bad, like they lash themselves in the back. What do you call that? You guys know what I mean? And you could do that with yourself with thoughts or words. Where you're like, oh my god, you're so stupid. Why can you not take yourself together and just do this? Why do you suck? Why are you not good enough? You could really, without knowing it, put those... Or yeah, feed yourself with those words. And you need to really, <laughs> the phone agreed, take yourself away from that and realize how amazing you are. Because you are going in a new direction. So, you know, put the ashes in the boat and let that boat sail away with fire. Because fire burns away all the old and the negative. And that's it, people. That's the... One day message that is the week ahead message and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.